Well, the CDC recommends at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise five days a week. And here with some ideas to help us do that is Brandy Horton from the Rails to Trails Conservancy. Welcome, Brandy. Thank you so much for having me. So what is the Rails to Trails Conservancy? That's a tongue twister. <laughs> it is a little bit of a tongue twister. It is the nation's largest trails and active transportation advocacy organization. We're basically working across the country to create a nationwide network of trails. So spaces where people can be active, really close to their homes, whether that's for recreation, exercise, or transportation. Oh, I love that. We have so many great trails here in Tampa Bay, as my family discovered during the uh, lockdown when we were all out biking and hiking. <laughs> now, you've got a special uh, initiative coming up on April 23rd. Tell me about that. So April 23rd is Celebrate Trails Day. It is the spring celebration of America's trails. It happens every year. And the focus is really to encourage as many people as possible to get outside to showcase how important these spaces are to our day-to-day -day lives, to our communities. And just as you said, during the lockdown, during the pandemic, we saw trail use across the country just surge. In 2020, trail use was 51% higher than in 2019, which is just remarkable and unprecedented. So as we come out of that, we want people to remember how important these spaces were to really start to build trail use into our day-to-day -day lives. Help us get those 30 minutes of moderate aerobic activity five days per week and have a little bit of fun while we're doing it. It is so fun, especially right now in Florida. It's a beautiful <laughs> time to be outside. Do you have any ideas for us here in Tampa Bay specifically? I sure do. I sure do. So the Pinellas Trail is not far from Tampa. And if you haven't been, it is a gem for the entire country. You really skirt the entire gulf there, and it is just exceptionally beautiful. But it is only one of more than 30 trails that are within driving distance of Tampa, if you can believe that. And Florida, if you want to get even more ambitious, has 65 trails overall across the whole state. But right within Tampa's region, you can get to about 30 different trails. And we have an app, it's called Trail Link, that is free and you can download that. And the whole purpose is to connect people to trails. So I highly encourage if you haven't been to a trail near you, download that Trail Link app. It's geolocated, so it'll see right where you are and tell you about great trails. It includes user reviews, so you get kind of firsthand accounts of what's great, maybe places that are not for you for different reasons. You know, I have I have three kids, so we look at the trail link app to decide, like, is this an adventure trail or is this a trail that's going to work for, you know, kids ages 3 to 11? And so um, it's a really great tool for planning, for planning your excursion and for planning what you might want to do on April 23rd. I love that. I have kids as well, and safety can be a concern because some of these trails kind of alternate between more rural areas and then into the city and crossing busy streets. So what are some safety considerations to keep in mind? So one of the things we've been working on with my eight-year-old since he learned to ride a bike, which happened during the pandemic when the trails were really crowded, was to announce himself. The most important thing is to be predictable, right? Because people are coming around you. There's a lot of different people doing different things on the